When I did a guide to other world exploration 2 days ago, my ranking was 219. Today, 2 days after, my ranking is 143. So after following my tips and everything I advised on my video, I was able to climb 76 places. Other world exploration is not an easy event and there are some things we really need to wave to. One of those things is being grinding a lot. We need to grind a lot because we need a lot of heroes if you want to have a lot of exploration progress. And we also need a good alliance. A good alliance is extremely important to have more exploration progress, get more Echo of Black Poseidra and keep climbing on the ranking leatherboard. So about the heroes, the strategy is pretty easy. You need at least 13 teams to get the most of the exploration progress. So that means you're gonna need 65 heroes. I know, that's a lot. And I didn't have 65 heroes uh, two days ago. I don't have 65 heroes today. When I started doing this event, I had like six, seven teams uh, to able to do at least seven million. And at the moment, I have some more because I've been grinding a lot, getting more XP, more materials, and leveling up more heroes. So I can show you guys the themes that I've been using. I have a list on a Excel file as well, and we can check here. So this is the themes I'm using. As you guys can see, I don't have 22 million on every team. I have 22 million in two teams, but if you grind a lot and you get a lot 65 euros level up, it means you can do this 13 times. So according with this Excel file, 7 million will get you 800 of exploration progress. Comparing this to an elemental dungeon, you get 500. So the strategy is pretty simple. You go here and you need to do these quests first. Okay, you do one of these, you have 150 biscuits, so 10 is for completing, completing one adventure preparation. Another one is for elemental domain and ideally you want to do 13 chaos bosses. If you can't, you do the maximum of chaos bosses you can with 7 million damage and then you spend all of your other biscuits on elemental domain stage 5, the one that is easier for you. Same thing applies to the chaos bosses, as I'm going to show you guys. For me, my you, you need to choose the chaos boss where you have the affinity more um, maxed out. So the one I have more maxed out is the Ice Radiance. I have this that is going to increase my damage and I have this one that is reducing the damage I'm taking. And now I'm trying to upgrade the Lightning Poison uh, one as well and then I'll try to upgrade the Fire Necrosis. Because if you are getting a lot of exploration progress here, you're gonna quickly uh, upgrade all the infinity because I mean you get like 30,000 from from these rewards and this is really important the faster you get to the bottom the more rewards you're gonna get because this is infinity yeah I mean you can farm as much as you want is in 15 days I mean and at least oh if you have enough biscuits just 150 but if you get the most of it you get the most of the rewards so at the moment this is the teams I'm, I used today. I leveled up some more heroes today uh, because I saved a lot of bread uh, for this. I've been farming a lot before, but I mean, this is I've been busy, not able to farm so much. So at the moment, as you guys can see, this is the teams I'm using. Uh, I'll show you on my Excel file as well. I have the same thing, more simplified if you guys want to have a look and save it. To have some examples of teams, so as you guys can see, 9 million on this one. This one was 2 hours ago, 3 hours ago, as you guys can see. I've been farming some more, and I have at the moment 11 teams. Okay, 2 of them can do 22 million or more, and a couple more can do 11 million or more, and this one, uh, 22 million as well. So I have 2 teams doing 22 million. And as you can see guys, the ice boss for me is the easiest one. The fire one is not so hard as well, but we don't have so much fire necrosis healers. 
but I've been trying to upgrade the most heroes I can for doing the ice boss because I feel like it's the easiest one, is the the element where you get more healers, more tanks. So I've been using some rare characters as you can see. Um, and I have a lot of scroll scrolls for rare heroes, so eventually I think I'm gonna uh, level up more ice heroes and try to do at least 7 million damage. As you can see on this uh, Excel device, this was the teams, the damage I I've been doing, and to total teams 11, it's how much I have, the ideally amount will be 13 teams, and this is the exploration progress you get from each one, so ideally you want 7 million or more from Chaos Bosses, because you get 800, if it's Elemental Dungeon, you get 500. So, farm the, the most you can from the Chaos Bosses uh, with 7 million damage, and then if you can do any more uh, challenge with 7 million, spend all the other biscuits on the uh, Elemental Dungeon. Stage 5, of course. And next step with this will be about the Alex, the Alliance Exploration. I didn't talk about this on the other guide. If you want to have a look at that guide, just check the link below uh, in the description. And is about the buffs you get. So, you get these rewards as well with the Alliance Exploration. And this is why it's important to get the, the must you can from your Alliance. So if you have a good Hallians and they are farming a lot, it means you are, they are getting this total Hallians expression progress. And the faster you get this, more buffs you're gonna get. At the moment you can see I have all these buffs up and the more buffs you get, more damage you're gonna do, more time you're gonna survive on Chaos Bosses, more exploration you can get. It's the snowball effect. So at the moment I'm getting HP 15%, attack, defense, accuracy, resistance, attack speed, I'm, go I'm still gonna get tomorrow probably crit damage, then skill heist, damage dealt plus 10%, which is gonna help a lot to do more damage and achieve 11, 22 million. Another thing guys, so as you guys can see, I'm doing this almost on the reset time, I still one hour left, but I'll show you guys, so as you can see, in one hour and 18 minutes it's gonna have a reset, so most of the people have already done this exploration progress the, and the chaos bosses and getting the echo clap cider. So this ranking is actually uh, updated. 143 and most of the people already done this. It's not a morning one, um, it's at the end of the day. So probably this is the ranking I'm gonna get until we get the reset of the server and we can spend some more biscuits. So this is my tips, they are very basic, level up some heroes, you really need to the, to get the best we can from this uh, event and eventually get all these rewards, they're gonna help you a lot, it gives you energy, um, a sense of creation, affinity, just use your best elements, try to farm the chaos boss on, on the chaos shadows the best, the most you can. Because this is not like the chief challenge where you can only fight one t once. You can find fight how many times you want. You just need to use different heroes. And that's why this is important. That you invest on your best elements. And while you're getting your affinity more uh, stronger with other elements. Then you can level up those heroes as well. At the moment I have 11 teams. I'm really happy with that. But I hope that tomorrow I can get more 10 heroes and create two more teams to have 13 teams getting at least 7 million and from there i will see because i don't want to invest all my scrolls i don't have that much for epic and legendary characters so i'm just trying to invest all my scrolls because i have a lot for the rare characters this is it guys this is my tips i hope these tips helps you guys and you can climb on the ranking just leave your feedback below how is this is going for you guys if you are being able to climb or not if these tips are helping you or not if you need any more advices i'm gonna leave you with the list of the um, teams i'm using and then you guys can copy these teams with the different ones and if you need any advice or any guides, just leave on the comments below. I'll try to create something and help you guys. 
with this, if you like this video don't forget press that like button, subscribe to my channel to support me and to follow more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.